Wood paneling is becoming warped and bulging. Our house was built in the late 70s. We moved in about 10 years ago and painted the wood paneling. About three years ago we started to notice a warped area. We put up a large clock to hide. It seems it's getting worse and spreading. Any help to determine the cause is appreciated. Thanks, Abe. Hi Abe. The cause is the humidity dot or some kind of moisture maybe even from a leaked up a paneling back or maybe flake board which has more of a proclivity to hold the moisture and buckle. Can you tell me what state you live in dot and do have AC in that room? Last did you notice if the buckling is less pronounced during the winter? Thanks Eddie. I have added some pictures. Even though it's an external wall there is a patio outside that the roof extends. So I can't see how a leak can happen. Perhaps moisture. I live in the Houston TX area. I can't remember how it looks in the winter, I don't think any less. It is a living room with central air. Thanks for the pictures. It's like this now though. Dot that paneling isn't doing you any good like it is. It might be just a very cheap paneling and is delaminating. Again. For moisture, but the best way to find this all out and remove it and see what is behind it. The good thing is it looks like the demolition or damage can be contained to one wall. Are you handy and are willing to tackle this? I can help you though each process. Thanks, I do try DIY first. I will have to pick a different day to remove it. When the time comes I would appreciate your help. Thanks again. You can do this too. Dot that cleat you have on the wall I guess that is for the clock. Dot so it would be an inconspicuous area is take a sheet ROS knife and cut out a 5x5 five five square and inspect the panel and the wall inside. Okay, I may try that Sunday. I'm having company over Saturday, so don't want to open a can of worms. I will follow up then. Sounds good. Please keep me posted. I am passionate about seeing things through. Here are some pictures of 7x7 seven seven opening next to a stud. There is a bit of a musty smell. Also the back of the paneling felt a bit damp. It's not overwhelming however. Thanks for sending the pictures. I was going to ask you at the time for exterior pics too if you can dot most people would look at that and say a case of dry rot dot but actually that affliction is caused by moisture also and lack of proper ventilation dot it is throwing me off too because the block and pressure treated lumber is in a pristine condition in that bay. I'm sure when you demo that wall you will find more of it presence. The insulation wasn't damp? When was that wall done? I really would like to see the roof line and structure so I can offer a little more and see what type of ventilation there is on this part of the roof thanks Eddie. The insulation was a bit damp. I am not sure when the wall was done. I know not in the last 10 years since I have owned the house. What a beautiful home. I see there is some vents on the soffit and the ridge vent. Dot it might not be a sufficient influx of air or circulation. Dot by the exterior window it almost looks like the same kind of problem. Dot the roof looks fairly new and in excellent condition. Dot do you know if you have a low water table? Dot and if the block goes all the way up and creates a fire stop? Thanks. The roof was redone after Ike in 2008, ridge vent was added with new roof. Sorry I am not sure about the water table, I would guess it is high since we don't have basements in the Houston area. I am not sure what you mean if the block goes all the way up and creates a fire stop. Not sure if this helps, but here are some more pictures from the attic. This is right above the wall. 
The portion with no insulation is above the patio. Do you know why above the patio was never insulated? I don't, it has always been that way. Do you think moisture is being sucked in from there? I do I think it is creating condensation between a heated living space and sometimes cold area with no barrier. I think if you add a few more soffit vents and insulate it the same as the house it might be the difference. Okay thanks for your help. I will plan to add more insulation above the patio. I will remove the paneling, add more insulation, and replace with drywall. Were you surprised not to see any drywall behind the paneling? Some of the googling I have done, there seems to be drywall behind paneling. But this is an older house, so most things aren't normal, would there be anything else to do while I have the wall open? All I see is four layers. Dot one. Paneling 2. Insulation 3. Tar paper 4. Cedar siding, external. Oh, also I will add more soffit vents. I would insulate the ceiling the same as the house. Yes, soffit vents. Insulate with our 19 exterior wall. Before you do, make sure to remediate and mold you come across. And in drywall, tape, and paint. Let's hope this cures any ills. No, I wasn't surprised. Sometimes people do that. And it is lucky for us because it is one less layer we have to remove. Thanks, Eddie. I hope you were able to make an informed decision. If you need anything else, home improvement wise. Construction, decorating or any kind of repairs etc. Please look for me. It has been a pleasure Abe customer slash P. Will do, thanks. Hi Abe I just saw this product and can't endorse or debunk it but it might be worth a shot https colon slash www.facebook.com slash rumor solution slash if you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.